everybody, welcome to Zero Game Busters. Hello, everybody. We're just gonna do a little quick episode here, game of uh, Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers. I've never played this game, to be honest. You should, it's really good. I am skipping that, because honestly, that, that little text is here and jarring. I hate it. I think it beats Mega Man X5 in the text <laughs> department. Well, he figured he'd do a little one-off game, so... Yeah, because I've already beaten several games, kind of picking what game I want to play next. I figured this would be a little, little fun little trip down memory lane. Your favorite Disney characters. I don't find this game super hard. It's just, sometimes the enemy placements can grab you off guard, or right. some bosses, patterns. One boss in particular, because I've been in all stages, is a complete idiot douche. I hate him. He's just, like fucking attacking every second. But usually, if you falter or die, you sometimes feel like it's your fault. But this would be also all stages, because I flat out can beat this game so quick. I prefer a no death run, but <laughs> I usually die to some boss eventually. So, you never had access to this game when you were younger? No, I've never played this game before. When was the first time you heard of this game? To be honest, never. Wow. I mean, I can understand if you were... God damn it, see that lightning bolt barely grazed me. You gotta watch out for hit detection in this game. Sometimes it's used to your advantage. Um, <laughs> I can understand if you may have not heard of one, two? I didn't even hear a two for a long ass time. But, yeah, it's. If you like Disney, if you're a Disney fan and you like Chippendale, and you got an NES or, you know, cheap it, little fucker. Lucky like Hit Point was there. Acorn was there. He'll be asshole. Um, give this a shot, you know? It's like, it's not that long, not too difficult. You do have continues. I mean, as younger, I've eaten all my continues before. Just one word of advice. You don't get that many iframes. <laughs> you can get hit, and a second later, you're gonna get hit again. And you will see this ball a lot. Uh, you ever watched the cartoon show on this show? Yeah, I watched the cartoon show. I had a question to you, Chipperdale. I liked them both. Well, you don't have one preference over the other? Nope. I prefer Dale more, Chip. I jumped over that shit. Get out of here. I know where you're coming from. Uh, Glad it's game enough, you know where they're coming from, but sometimes they still let cheap hit you. I guess I should explain some of the items real quick, because <laughs> you're probably seeing them everywhere. Flowers are your collectibles, like coins and Mario and such. Collect a hundred and a floating star comes by. And that means it's a one up if it blinks. Stars. Fucker, uh, 20 of those grant you an extra life. But those are more rare. Acorns, obviously, is your health point, and I almost got knocked into the death zone. I wasn't fast enough, so I gotta deal with these jerks. Yep, like I said, I never played this game. I watched the cartoons when I was younger, but... That ball again. Yep. Double hit the boss, and I thought I was gonna get hit by that. This boss. Is that is double hit. Little, nice. Yep, I heard that. Those little guys can be annoying, especially if you stun it and lock yourself out. But uh, that pee we collected, I can lift up logs and apples with ease now, like a normal crate. 
Because before, as you notice, it, it hampered my, my jump speed. Right. It does it now. You have to pick that up as a power up, but. See, then you question the hitbox on that one. I will say, uh, two ends up being mu uh, much longer than this. Hmm. Because the bosses, oh my god, it had to make them annoying. Some bosses just take for those seconds forever to die. I joke not. Take it easy here because I'm close to death. Ooh, take a zipper. Yep. Yay, it's ability! And I recommend not to be picking up stuff when you're zippering. Oh my god, slow down. And we're done. <laughs> it's a short game. It's NES. They made them <laughs> short. I mean, what else are you going to do with Chippendale? Like I said, I'm skipping dialogue. I just can't. That's irritating to me. And I, I could stand X5 or X6. But holy shit, I can't stand this game version. But it's got, but this game boosts some good soundtrack. This one in particular. Shit, missed. Oh, you motherfucker. Damn it. Those guys just look so weird. They always do. I got a full heal coming up, but I need to survive these carpet bunnies. Oh, oh, I saw that. One up. Ooh, one up. One more. Got him. Full heal. <sighs> I was nervous. I always get nervous when I'm down to my last hit point. Sorry, I'm listening to the soundtrack of that one. <laughs> <laughs> I like this stage's music, quite honestly. It'll get catchy after a while once you listen to it enough. I hate evil boxes. Giant robot. Wow. wow. I just like fucking missed completely. Nice. Yeah, I wish I could do it like I did the first time I showed you this game. It's like, man, you just saw me smoke this boss like it was nothing. Like, there we go. <laughs> yeah, I think this has the boss I do not like. I do not even like this level. Cause that apparently hits and hurts. See? That jumps. It's perfectly fine with the logs and apples. Hmm. I love the ducking feature. Duck in the box, they hit it, they die. And if you see something like this, dig to the center. You'll find stars and flowers. Whoop whoop. Lives, so I don't really need them, but you know, why not? I, mean, I found out you can't get in this boat when you're holding something. You hold a box, it won't let you get in the <laughs> boat. You die! Stupid is what it is. And the, the two only gimmicks in the whole game and they're in this stage the boat and the hammer. Hammer! Which honestly, the hammer? Why do you want to pick up a box again? It fucking kills them. <laughs> Hammer makes boxes obsolete, but at least for a short time. Hey, I see one ups lay everywhere. This is the boss I fucking hate. 
It looks like a giant catfish. It is a giant catfish. That's what I thought. That's it, I hit, see? I stunned, wow. myself. I stunned myself with the ball and it caused me to get hit. That's the danger of getting hit by the ball, is it stuns you and enemies can take advantage of it. I hate that boss. <laughs> a whole host of NES game, uh, th uh, Disney games, like uh, DuckTales, I'm sure you heard of that one. Oh yeah, I've heard of the DuckTales game before, I've played the DuckTales game before. I even played the remastered version. Ooh, the remastered version, I'm so glad they brought back the voices for it. Uh, I know, right? I love the remastered version, I thought it was fun. Some people will bash it, to be honest. I hear some people like to bash it out for a little bit, and I was like, why? It's good. I mean, it takes the game and remasters it out in HD. Right. And adds a little something special. And by the way, folks, if you um, if you weren't paying attention, I'd just beat the stage like it was nothing. <laughs> this, it, they just throw this stage in for a throwaway. I played one. Did you know they made a sequel, DuckTales 2, for the NES? Hmm. They actually made a sequel. It's I did more... not know that they made a sequel. I didn't for the longest time. I jumped at the wrong time. They did. And it wasn't until... Um, fuck, I should have jumped. It wasn't until, like, um... AGDQ, Game Stuff Quick, Awesome, De awesome Game Stuff Quick, I didn't even know it existed. <laughs> they speed, they speed run that game, and I was like... It exists? Did you mean to leave those two two stars behind there? Yeah. Well, shit. Now I'm actually three stars away too. Ah. Oh, there's tons more stars out there. Thankfully, these rhinos are nice enough to pick away the boxes for me so I can see what's underneath them. But I didn't learn about Chippendales two. I say eight years ago. I played it. Damn, I wish I didn't. I, I wish I knew about it. Cause it was a fun game. I hate those fucking flies. If you're not apparently quick enough in this stage, they will bombard you for the rest of it. It's like a timer. See, I was, I was quick enough. They're not bothering me anymore. It's a weird. They're on a timer. I do want that box, because it has something special in it. What up? And I needed it, apparently. I call it a, le a Let's Play curse. I sit here and play this game almost no deaths, so now I'm just gonna die left and right. Oop, I saw that. Gimme, give gimme. Give Yay! And when you reopen it, it's just normal stars. There's no one ups. This boss, you get one spot if you don't hit yourself with the ball. Catch it and just toss it. <laughs> but this boss, only a few times if I've managed to avoid that first spike, I usually go in and always hit that spike. And I've done that and killed myself before, and I was like, oops, I forgot that was there. That spike can be an asshole. They made DuckTales, uh, they made Tailspin. I never played that one. Tailspin? I never played Tailspin. I watched the series, obviously. Oh, uh, yeah, the series kicked ass. It's okay, everybody's I did not know that star was there. <laughs> Wait. I was a oh, that was a star that simultaneously gave me a one up that floated in. What is this new? Um, another NES Disney game they did. Uh, Darkwing Duck. 
Which, if you like Mega Man, you'll like it on the NES. It almost plays like it. You have bosses, you use a gun. If DuckTales was so popular, believe it or not, there's actually a Game Boy game of both 1 and 2. Hmm? I kid you not. Star. I don't think Chip and Dale ever saw a Game Boy game. I think their sales were a little low. Nintendo Goof Troop. I'm sure you know that show. Oh yeah. I know Goof Troop. I played that game and it's fun. It, it, it's it's a game you probably for sure want to play two player. But right. It does make it a little bit easier. Trust me, I beat it one player and I was like, man, I wish I had a second player with me right now. Now, these assholes here have a little gimmick to them. Hmm. But I, I'll show that off in the last one, probably. Oh, I dropped that head. Yep. You hit them in the beak area, they spit the box back at you. And it stuns you. Doesn't hurt, it just stuns. Oh. There's my four heal. Usually, every stage has a couple four heals. Yep, see, that just spit it out and try to stun you. Got him in the legs. And I've seen, um, I think it was Pro Jared, he did a strat I did not think anybody would do in this game. What would that be? He damage boosted past the Pelicans because he did <laughs> not know how to deal with them. I was like, wow, that's the hard way. I saw the extra life out. <sighs> I'll take a hit point for life. <laughs> this boss is pretty easy. You can get two hits in before um, he gets to the center and breaks apart. Or win. <laughs> Under rebound! It's about, I think it's usually about five hits every boss goes down. We're already on the final stage! Alright. Wow, we're only... 17, 18 minutes into this, actually. Get a box. And they expect this part. This part is hard and expected because that full heal's there. That's a full heal box. <laughs> Two full Look heal boxes. Look at all those football up. players. There's a heal yep. right there. There's a one hit point heal right there. I didn't mean to be on the top of Bear Bell, honestly. And it's finicky to jump down, honestly. You can jump down off of those, but it's so finicky. There's a hit point there, there's a hit point there. They expect that shit to be rough on you, so they supply you the hit points before it comes to the most bullshit part of the game. Because look, they give you two stars. Axes! And three stars. <laughs> These lizard guys are back, and now they toss their hats. What are they, Mafia Gators? Mafia Gators? I call them Mario Odyssey <laughs> ripoffs now. Now they probably started the whole trend. Now I need this acorn right there. The only way to know where these are is just play the game and uncover all the boxes. <laughs> and know when certain enemies are coming up. Ah, oh, see, if you toss that fast enough and hit him at the right spot, you actually get a one hit on him. Nice. Yes, and you can hit the hats, take the damage. Ah! Boom, that dick right there plants to kill Alright, final boss. Wow. I saw that coming, unfortunately. You can get that sweet spot right 
this that one little sweet spot right there and hit him. You got it. You gotta hit that sweet spot. Oh, that's game. It's a sweet spot you gotta hit. That took way more deaths than I should have, but. <laughs> It, just play it. This, that's all the stages in Rescue Rangers. I make it look easy, but I've played this game <laughs> countless times. But, you know, if you're just playing it to collect everything, you, those boxes can tackle in quite a bit of minutes easier right. than your timer. I just know what happened to most of the full hills are, so. <laughs> but, uh, I hope everybody enjoyed it. Get a little end music here. Um, if you like the video, give us a like. You know, tell us little bit of uh, your Disney history of this game or series if you ever played or watched this. Down the road, you know, Rescue Rangers 2 will come out. That'll be a little lengthier because they actually do stages that seem to go on a little too long. The bosses take like eight, eight hits almost to kill. So Good they, lord. They drag, the, they drag out, especially the final boss. Oh my <laughs> god. Do not die when you see the final hit coming because that fight drags badly. Well, we hope you enjoyed this video, everybody, and we will see you guys in the next video. Ciao.